Installing Monitoring OpenShift You can find latest guide on how to install monitoring OpenShift on www.outcoldsolutions.com. The easiest way to get application installed in your Splunk single instance, Splunk Cloud or Splunk Cluster is by using Application Explorer, directly from the Splunk search heads. You can also download application directly from Splunk Base and install it manually from archive file. This application needs to be installed on search head only. Our collector forwards logs and metrics using HTTP Event Collector. By default this type of input is disabled in Splunk. If you are using Splunk Cloud or Splunk Single Instance you can enable HTTP Event Collector using the web UI from search head. In case if you are using clustered environment, please follow Splunk documentation on how to enable HTTP Event Collector in distributed deployment. After enabling HTTP Event Collector, create one token, which will be used by our collectors to forward logs and metrics. After enabling HTTP Event Collector, please verify that you know correct HTTP Event Collector URL and port. And verify that hosts, where you are going to install our collectors, can publish to Splunk HTTP Event Collector. Use an example from our documentation, which posts one event from command line. By default HTTP Event Collector listens on port 8088. In case if you are using Splunk Cloud you need to prepend URL with input or HTTP inputs. Make sure to use correct token. In success you should be able to see an event by querying it with Splunk search. Our collector forwards logs from files created by standard docker json file logging driver. Red Hat Enterprise Linux and some distributions pre-configures Docker to use journal D-logging driver instead of default JSON file logging driver. You can change this using configuration file located in slash etc slash sysconfig slash docker. Replace journal D-logging driver with JSON file logging driver, for JSON logging driver also specify additional configuration to limit maximum size of the JSON logging files and maximum number of files kept by a rotating them. To take this change in effect you need to restart docker daemon, this can disturb your working applications, running on OpenShift. If you are applying this change on production cluster, run this configuration change in maintenance window or scale your application on multiple hosts and restart docker daemons one by one. You will need to enable JSON file logging driver on all hosts, which you want to monitor with our collector. Our collector forwards host logs from syslog files stored on hosts. By default system D forwards all logs to journal D, journal D usually pre-configured to forward logs to local syslog server, in some distributions our syslog daemon may not be installed by default. Verify that you can see host logs under slash var slash logs slash messages, and in case if this file is missing install our syslog rpm. Now we are ready to install our collector, which will forward container and host logs and metrics. Make sure to be logged in as an user with cluster admin role. Verify that privilege security context constraint has both settings set to true, allow host dir volume plugin and allow privileged container. In default distribution they are set to true, no modifications are required. Use latest YAML configuration file from www.outcoldsolutions.com, which creates daemon set, scheduled on all nodes of OpenShift cluster, including master hosts. This configuration file also creates cluster role, which is limited only to view and watch for different workloads, this allows collector to load metadata about each container. Service account, which is used to run collector container. Cluster role binding to bind service account to cluster role. Config map configuration 
with all specific for container parameters. Please review this config map later. This file allows you to specify some additional configuration, like custom join rules for multi-line log lines. At minimum you need to specify URL to Splunk HTTP event collector, token and specify flag in secure, in case if you are using self-signed certificate. Use the verified values for Splunk HTTP event collector and token we use to post event from the command line. Apply this configuration. You should see all objects successfully created. After that, add just created service account, to the privileged security context constraint. This allows our collector to be able to read host and container logs, and be able to read metrics from PROC and C group file systems. Give it few moments to download images from hubdocker.com. After you will see that collector is running in desired number you can go to the monitoring OpenShift application and be able to start monitoring your cluster. Depending on how big is your cluster, it can take few moments to catch up on logs. Thank you for watching. Visit www.outcoldsolutions.com to learn more about monitoring OpenShift and other products.